Chicago. On the way to King Comics, Trouble Wars, have a spree, man. Using that word called uh, spree, spree. I mentioned that. I came across that word spree again. You know, when they say he got a, a crime spree, that's a spell. Creep, a crime wave, that's a spell. A shopping spree, that's a spell. So, uh, yeah, Mike Scott, Chicago, out here uh, enjoying life today. Uh, it's, it's cool day today. It's about 60 degrees. Uh, uh, Paul for the penitentiary. Where the world like a loose garment. And going back to King, going, I go back to King Solomon. Now King Solomon, uh, going back to Solomon, I, uh, he said, uh, a wise man's fun is being wise now. A fool's fun is being bad. Being bad. So, uh, yeah, my guy's cool to be a square today. My fun is out here uh, educating the mind. They educate a man's man certain spiritual qualities, which makes him calm and adversity happy with along. So I'm out here, I'm a book person, a book by his counsel, teach a wise man how to live. So I had to, had to learn how to live. So Solomon is very important in my life because I had to study some, you know, I study some people that was about wisdom, you know. Uh, even when I was studying Aristotle, I'm going to tell you what Aristotle said. He's on, Aristotle said, when I was staying on 103rd in Michigan, but I had to put the alcohol down to understand it, he says, uh, I was saying many years ago, like 40 years ago, this is 40 years now, I've been studying Aristotle, this sentence I'm going to give to you, uh, it says, uh, True, ha true, true happiness flows. Now, flow. We're talking about flowing now. We ain't talking about getting stuff. True happiness flows from possession of wisdom and virtue and not from possession of external goods. That's still true. That's true today. True happiness flows from wisdom. And it's not going to flow from uh, uh, being on Disney, going to Disneyland. Uh, it comes from wisdom. Happiness man defines wisdom. Solomon also talks about, I got to move, move over here because I got guys smoking cigarettes over here. And uh, cigarettes kill. My mother loves cigarettes. Cigarettes kills eight million people worldwide. I mean, uh, one guy's in the hospital today, you know, because and cigarettes is is, is is it's a compulsion. Compulsion means you're doing something against your will. When they say he's a compulsive gambler, he's gambling against his will. I don't care what they're doing over here. They finna uh, put a, uh, a casino on Halsted and uh, right here on Halsted, Chicago. I don't gamble. I don't know the horse name the racetrack is. I don't do scratch off, don't drink root beer. So it's cool to be a square. You know, I ain't smoked a joint 33 years, you know, and that's a billion dollar business. See, you do what popular is not right, what's right is not popular. Just because it's popular, yeah, got this. Just because it's popular, don't mean it's right. So I had to change, you know, uh, and that train going around, you know. You saw the, I seen the video, seen the video. Two guys were fighting on the on the L train, right? Somebody sent me on Facebook, you saw it, right? 69th Street. On the train, out there on the train track, they're both, both in the hospital. See, fighting, you know? And that's what I'm talking about. When Solomon talks about a fool is quick temper, a wise man stays cool and assaulted. A wise man controls his temper. He knows anger causes mistakes. So the world has gone mad. This is this is June the, June the 7th. This is going to be a, a mad summer there. You know, so remember the song called Summer Madness? So you got to uh, have some peace within inside yourself. So what do you do you avoid throwing a bad company? You going you might run into a bad company and, and, and you could be in, you can be in California in uh, Beverly Hills a fool going to run a, or come across you. What do you do you avoid throwing a bad company? Hold your tongue, use your lay, say nothing, walk away. Sometimes you got to walk away from a fool. You know, uh, and that's what see a wise man, see a wise man don't react but a fool don't know how not to react. See, that's the difference. That's what Solomon's talking about. When he said, is, you know, like I said yesterday, it's better to be slow-tempered and famous. It's better to self-control, control our army. So a lot of our military weapons, uh, military leaders were not heroes. Just because they, they were generals in the military, a lot of them weren't good guys, you know what I'm saying? So it's about, uh, I walked down Well Street yesterday, uh, last week. Guys got guns on the side, but they're looking at me like they're scared of me. What do you, I'm like, why are you scared? You got a gun? And you still scared? See, people got guns, military weapons, and full of fear. You know, so when it's your time to go, it's your time to go. All the Christian guys talking about they want to go to heaven, don't want to die. You know, when COVID came on the scene, it disappeared. You know, and I said, what if, you know, see, I got a guy that commands a son. A mice got him out here. It's cool to be a square. Uh, the sun is trying to come out. We down here in Chicago, uh, you know, and Chicago is always known for Al Capone. You know, I got a guy, come on around here, I got, uh, they, they got Death Row over here, he been on Death Row, he turned it, they, uh, Paul for the penitentiary, uh, this Otis over here, hey Otis, how you doing Otis? What's going on out there world? Yeah. Sitting up here again with Michael Scott, man, Paul's for the penitentiary, man.
you know, uh, a lot of things that he's touching on, if you're not able to control your mind, your mind will control you, you know. And that's why we do pause before the penitentiary. Because just cause somebody And you were, you was one of them bad guys. You changed you. We talking about a wise man fun of being yeah. wise, a fool's fun is being bad. Now you was one of the bad guys from Chicago, but you changed your life. Tell me how you how you go from being a gangster to where you do, now you're trying to help people around you. Absolutely. Once you go back and look into your life, you know you can really change some things. You know in your life. You know what I'm saying? Because if you don't change those things that's going on in your life, they will change you. You know, they would set a destiny for you. They would send you to some places where no man had never, you know, no, don't want to go. So today, man, pause before the penitentiary. How much How much time did you do, total time you did in penitentiary? Oh, I did over 38 years in 30. prison, but I'm talking about outside the prison. I still was locked up in the mind, you know what I'm saying, thinking out the box today. You know, you have to be able to help somebody, and then God's going to help you. You know, I don't worry about what people say or what they do. See, when you care about, I'm mean, see. I go to go to the book. Yeah. I, I study books. You know, uh, yeah. see, you know, I got to stay humble. But see, when I wear my Muhammad Ali shirt, people frown at me because I got a Muhammad Ali shirt. Absolutely. On. See, when you care about people's yeah. approval, you come to prison. What you think of yourself is much more important than other things about you. So we don't. I'm not caring about what people say. Right. But wickedness in high places, fears, curse the world, fears everywhere. Now they got the. The monkey, the monkey, the monkey disease going around, and we know a monkey can't right. sell bananas. And if you, you know? don't, and if you don't got haters in the world, that means you ain't doing nothing yeah. in the world. When you start doing things and start changing, people start looking at you different. You know, so it's not that important what people think about you; it's what you think about yourself. That's all I got. Mike Scott, Scott, cool to be a square.